Hi, welcome back to the course. In this lecture, we will study three problems on mapping. So, our first problem is the coordinates of the point P in frame 1 are 3, 2, 1. The position vector P is rotated about the z-axis by 45 degrees. We have to find the coordinates of the point Q, that is the new position of the point P after rotation. From lecture number 8, we know that the rotation matrix about the z-axis is given by cos theta minus sin theta 0, sin theta cos theta 0 and 0, 0, 1. Substituting 45 degrees in this matrix, we will get RZ 45 degrees as this. For the rotation of the vectors, we know that 1Q is equal to RZ 45 degrees 1P. RZ 45 degrees we have already found and 1P is given in the question as 3, 2, 1. So, substituting the values of Rz and 1P in 1Q, we will get 1Q as 0 0.707, 3.535 and 1. Thus, the coordinates of the new point Q after rotation relative to the frame 1 are 0 0.707, 3.535 and 1. Okay, so this was a problem on rotation. This was a very simple problem. Moving on to the next problem. It is given that frame 2 is rotated with respect to the frame 1 about the x-axis by an angle of 60 degrees. The position of the origin of the frame 2 as seen from the frame 1 is 1d2 is equal to 757. We have to obtain the transformation matrix 1d2 which describes the frame 2 relative to the frame 1. Okay. Also, we have to find the description of the point P in frame 1 and the value of the 2P is given as 2, 4 and 6. Now, from lecture number 8, we know that 1t2 is equal to 1r2, 1d2, 0, 0, 0, 0 and 1. The value of the sigma is 1. Okay. So, we have to find out 1r2, 1d2, 1 by 1. From lecture number 8, we know that the rotation about the x-axis matrix is given by 1, 0, 0, 0 cos theta minus sin theta, 0 sin theta cos theta. Substituting the 60 degree in this matrix, we will get the value of 1R2 as shown here. 1D2 is given in the question as 7, 5, 7. Substituting the value of 1R2 and 1D2 in the formula of 1T2, we will get 1T2 as this matrix. Now, it is given in the question that 2P is equal to 2, 2, 6. A point P in frame 1 to be mapped from the frame 2 is given as 1P is equal to 1T2 2P where 1T2 is the transformation matrix that we have already found. So, substituting the values, we will get 1P as matrix 1 multiplied by the matrix 2 that is 2P. Multiplying these two, we will get 1P as 9, 1.804, 13 13.464 and 1. 9, 1.804 and 13.464 are the physical coordinates of the point P. So, this is the position vector of the point P. Okay, moving on to the next problem. We have frame 1 and 2 having coincident origins and they differ only in the orientation. Frame 2 is initially coincident with frame 1. Certain rotations are carried out about the axis of the frame 1. Rotation 1, rotation 2 and rotation 3. We have to obtain the equivalent rotation matrix that is 1R2. This question is about successive rotations. So, firstly we have to rotate 45 degrees with respect to x axis, then 30 degrees with respect to y axis and at last 60 degrees with respect to x axis. So, we know that matrix for first rotation is written on the very right hand side and then next matrix to the left and so on. Remember, order is very important here. So, substituting the values and multiplying, we get 1R2 as shown over here. Okay, so order was very important here. And in every question of the successive rotation, we have to just focus on the order and question becomes very simple. So, we have seen problems on rotation, translation and successive rotation. That was all for this lecture. If you are enjoying the course, please hit the subscribe button so that you can receive regular updates for the latest videos.